Hey there everyone, Matt Burns here, the owner and founder of iHarp Homes, bringing you more real estate success without the BS. And welcome to the first episode of our seller series. And instead of doing sequential episodes outlining the steps to closing, like I did with the buyer series, um, for this one, I'm gonna be doing the top tips that sellers should do when getting their home on the market to get sold for top dollar. So today's topic will be the first part of that, which is price. And I bring up price first because it's the most important of all. Um, even in this market that we're in today, which January 2022, it really is a truly historical seller's market. It doesn't matter what else we do if we do not price it right, a house will not sell. You could advertise it and take out an ad in the New York Post, the front page of Time Magazine, the main home page of every major website and company out there. All you're doing is telling everyone you've got an overpriced listing. And so there is nothing more powerful than pricing that a seller can do when trying to get the most money for their home. And you know, here's the reality, forget about uh, just in real estate, in everyday life, conventional wisdom gets you conventional results. But here's some conventional wisdom and industry BS that has plagued the real estate market uh, and is costing homeowners tens of thousands of dollars in their hard earned equity. And it's the strategy of pricing a home high and trying to negotiate down. Um, the truth of the matter is that the longer a house sits on the market, the lower the offers it tends to generate. It sits on the shelf like a stale loaf of bread. And so on today's video, I really wanna lay out for you my strategy, which I like to call the highball cocktail. And I'm gonna explain this. It's gonna be a little bit more intuitive that I've got it laid out this way. Uh, and it's how do you get buyers to come in and dig as deep into their pockets as possible? Uh, here's the no BS tip. If you want top dollar for your property, buyers have to love two things. They have to love the house and they have to love the price. If a buyer doesn't like the house, they aren't gonna buy it. Um, that's pretty easy to understand, right? Uh, and we're not talking about investors here. We're talking about um, homeowner occupants. If they're looking for the home of their dreams and they don't like the property, it's out. They're not going to buy it. So there's nothing you can really do about that. But let's say that we have a house and they love it. It's beautiful, right? But man, that price, that price is too high. It's 5% over market, it's 10% over market. And guess what, buyers know when a house is overpriced because they got the same data. You know, it used to be back in the day that information was hard to get. Now it's just a couple clicks on your smartphone. So they're really well informed and you know, when you do this, it causes them to slow down. You know, they start saying, we need to think about it. Uh, we need to go see other homes. And so it slows down the momentum of a buyer uh, who, are, who are making decisions. And, you know, they're thinking about it and they're thinking about it. And so, you know, the offers, if they come in at all, they come in slow and they come in low. If you want to sell your house slow and low, this is the strategy. This is the low ball cocktail. You know, uh, but if we have an awesome property and the buyers like the house and they're like, dang, that's a nice house. Dang, that's a great price. And the price is right. They get hot for this house. They like it. They want it. They're excited about it. Right. And guess what? Whenever you've got buyers hot for a house, they also come in high. This is the magic cocktail. This is the highball cocktail. 
And you know, there are very powerful emotions that are at work here. You know, in both of these, you need desire, right? Desire for the product, in this case, the house. But with the low ball cocktail, what happens with this slow and low is that the other emotion in play here is fear. You know, fear of regret. You've heard of buyer's remorse, right? But this is why they come in low. Because, you know, people don't want to do something that they're going to regret. But for the highball cocktail, look what we have here. We have desire for the house and we have desire for the price. So we have desire squared. But then a third emotion kicks in that trumps everything. And that is the buyers start going, whoa, that's a good price. Whoa, that's a good house. Whoa, this house is going to go fast. And we're going to have to come in with our highest and our best. Because fear of loss kicks in. And there's nothing more powerful for a seller to get top dollar. That's the reality. That's the no BS take. And this is what will get you a great win. And, uh, you know, that's really what it's all about for me is getting you guys good wins. So let me know what you think. Uh, if this makes sense and uh, you guys like it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to the next Top Dollar Tips for Sellers. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay well.